This program, the Residential Camp in Canberra, we set out basically to try to help our best junior athletes develop the skills and abilities and understanding of what it takes to be a senior athlete a lot quicker than perhaps we've done in the past and with a lot more purpose. You know, we've seen over the years that, especially recent years, the European women, American women have developed a lot quicker and at a, at a younger age they seem to be a lot better prepared than our athletes. And so really we were just after a fairly comprehensive program, obviously not with a massive amount of depth, but enough of a breadth of knowledge that the girls get a good understanding of what is required to be a senior athlete. Collectively we've tried to design some training sessions, training drills and the entire program to try to, I guess, encapsulate as much skill acquisition as we can, rather than just having drills, for example, that are um, very individualised, so it might just be one person shooting or just swimming laps, trying to incorporate decision making and skill execution with a bit of pressure, de defence involved, skill learning as well as the, the physiological components. Usually at home we get pushed to a certain limit and we just stop there, so here we've been pushing ourselves further and further, so I think I'm really going to take that home and take that to our coaches to try and keep pushing us and pushing us forwards and not just sitting at a certain point. They're all your sisters, you can rely on them, you go to the dining hall with them, you all have your jokes, you have your groups and you're just training with different girls in the pool as well. You get to see how they train, how they perform. Good, 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 good. Excellent pass, good option. One more. I think we've got a good balance between our pool training, meetings, sessions, time for physio and massage, and the gym program, I think that's all really been integrated quite well. It's a big load on these girls. Most of them have never trained like this before, but we've also taken, I think, enough care in terms of looking after them and, and working on how they deal with that mentally, but also physically. And with all the support services here, with the massage and physio and, and doctors on site to help make sure we keep the girls in, in a good state, I think that's helped a lot and um, talking individually to the girls and as groups they seem to really be engaged and gaining a lot from it and really enjoying it. <laughs>